So in this section, we're gonna do the bottle cap. And this won't take that long at all because all I really wanna do is isolate this top part to put a logo on and really just preserve all of these polygons from the sides and then the inside and everything so that they all convey the same color that we want. But really the, the focus is gonna be making sure this is as big as possible to get whatever logo or anything that we might need uh, on the top of this bottle cap. So, like before, the first thing we do is go to the Paint Setup Wizard and make sure we deselect everything and just select the bottle cap. We hit Next. This is all fine. Next. I, I like 1024 for this because it's, it's small. It's just a bottle cap. A thousand pixels will be enough to put a nice logo on. And then we hit Finish. And it remapped it actually to be pretty awesome. Uh, the only thing that we want to do, because look, I mean, this whole top part is its own texture or its own section of uh, UV polygons. And that's perfect. That's all we really want. Uh, the only thing that's the drawback is we need to make this as big as possible, make everything else as small as possible, because we don't need any of this really for uh, texturing, we just need this for the logo or any kind of text we want and then make sure that we keep all these things so that whatever color we make this besides this gray, all of these uh, UV polygons are going to have that same color. So first thing to do, and just so you know, uh, this navigation for UV maps like this is, is the exact same as it would be in cinema. So you can zoom and rotate and uh, move like you would in cinema. So all I'm gonna do actually is just take this lasso selection tool so I can draw a line around it. and make sure that I'm in uh, UV polygon mode. And then I'm just going to draw a line around this. Like that. And as you can see, it's all of those polygons, which is perfect. So I'm going to zoom out, hit the Move tool, and actually just move this over here because that's going to be the really important thing we want to keep and just select all this stuff basically and scale it all down to be tiny well what I'm going to do first actually is I'm going to select this section of UV polygons like that go to the move tool actually I'm going to go to the scale tool first scale this down and then move it into here and scale it back up again so now all these things are laid out like that and what I'm going to do now is just select all of them except for the important part right here and go to the scale tool and scale them down to be tiny because again we don't need any, we don't need any detail to put on these UV polygons we just need them to show whatever color we end up making this bottle cap so now they have been reduced down to the corner and we can bring this back in to take center stage in this UV map go there I'm going to zoom in a little bit and scale this up go to the move tool and just put it right on the edge like that that's pretty awesome and obviously if you want to make it bigger you can select these up here and move them. You can move all these things around the border to make this even bigger if we needed to. Um, but this is a nice UV map of the bottle cap. 
And so now we go in here and do save texture as. Save it as a Photoshop file. Okay. And then we will call this beer bottle cap texture. Save. And once again, go to layer and select create UV mesh layer. And then hit save texture again. And so now when we go to Photoshop, we can open up that texture, beer bottle cap texture. And just for fun, I'm just going to take this part from the beer label. Transform, make this pretty big. And then all we have to do is just, we just need to hide that UV mesh layer and then make this the same color as that yellow. Like that. Hit save. So now when we come back to cinema and we do revert texture to saved. Yes, I want to revert. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, now on to the next one. We're going to do the six pack case.